Guys, I can't make this up. This is a serious I can't believe it moment. So the Northwest Provincial Government spent 780,000 rands on donkey carts. It says here, yeah, Northwest Government spent 780,000 rands on new donkey carts with three-year maintenance plan. Three-year maintenance plan on a donkey cart. Is that even a thing? They say the donkey carts will be used as scholar transport and they will also be used to transport the elderly and the sick people. The Northwest Department of Community Safety said it has spent 780,000 on acquiring donkey carts, which it has given to villagers. In line with the National Transport Act, this seeks to alleviate challenges faced by rural communities. The carts were manufactured in Mafikeng and they had been skill transferred to some of the beneficiaries. As part of the contract with the department, the service provider will maintain the carts for the next three years at no cost to the owners. There's a two-seater cart and a four-seater cart. The two-seater cart costs 32,500 rands and the four-seater cart costs 45,500 rands, excluding the maintenance fees, of course. You can see the MEC ending over the carts. They say most of the beneficiaries are women. The office of the MEC said it was excited over the project, saying it hoped it will better the lives of the community members. The cuts are reportedly used to ferry the sick to clinics, pupils to school, and the elderly to pension pay points. The MEC told the community to take care of the cuts. He said this mode of transport has been used for a very long time. Yes, babe, we also travel to schools and shops. It is a very reliable mode of transport when you take care of these donkeys. Feed them and maintain the cart. You know, I want to criticize this thing so bad, but I made a loss for words. It's 2022 and they are buying donkey carts. I mean, how shameless can you be? I don't know what to say. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to think of pros and cons of using donkey carts as transport system in the year 2022. Let's start with the pros. Well, these things are good for the environment. They have zero emissions, so I think they are quite eco-friendly. And I can't think of any other advantages of this. Maybe this is a tourism attraction stunt, man. I don't know. Let's just look at the cons of using donkey carts as transport in 2022. They say these things are going to be used to transport school children, the elderly and sick people. I don't have to ride this thing to know that the suspension is bad. I don't think the elderly will like the bumpy ride and the sick people might get worse. These cars will not make a comfortable ride and they are not weatherproof. They will only protect the passengers from the sun for one minute at noon when the sun is right above us. When it's windy, the elderly will be eating dust. When it's cold, the sick will be shivering. And when it rains, everybody will be wet. And what if the donkeys just start misbehaving? Can you imagine grandmas falling off a cart? Bottom line is that whoever came up with this idea should be ashamed of themselves. Or maybe this is a Tswana thing that I don't understand. Hey, what's one over there in Mafike? Is this a good thing? Or we should all just be sad for our future? I feel like there's some backward thinking going on here. What do you guys think? 